let's talk about return on investment. In this video, we'll take a brief tour around what it means and how you can use this knowledge with your projects and initiatives. When assessing new ideas, we need to understand whether they are desirable, viable, and feasible. Working out a return on investment, or ROI, helps us to determine whether our project or idea is fundamentally viable. So firstly, what is ROI? There are many definitions, but let's go with a performance measure used to evaluate the efficiency of an investment or to compare the efficiency of a number of different investments. To calculate ROI, the benefit or return of an investment is divided by the cost of the investment. The result is expressed as a percentage or a ratio. In simple terms, is investing in my project profitable and therefore viable? For example, if the cost of delivering a project is £120,000 and the projected annual return or profit from the project is £42,000, our ROI is 42000 divided by 120,000, giving us 35%. Bear in mind that we need to include a time scale. For example, after the first year, as the ROI percentage will change depending on the time scale we use. This calculation shows a healthy return, but in some industries, for example, healthcare, even ideas which aren't profitable may still be desirable and feasible. So, by virtue of providing indirect, intangible or non-financial returns, such as patients' improvements in health, unprofitable ideas may still be given a green light. So be careful not to be too dismissive of ROI calculations which produce a low or a negative return. Carrying out an ROI calculation is arguably the easy part. The trickier part is establishing projections and assumptions which are robust and correct. So how do you help ensure your projections and assumptions are as accurate as possible? Firstly, thorough market research helps you to understand your potential market and the financials. Ensure you include all direct and indirect costs associated with your project. Be realistic about when your project will start producing revenue and the take-up rate of your product or service. Ensure you account for any increases in costs throughout the planning stage of your project. Plot your costs and project income on a chart to establish when your project will break even. Everything above the line is profit. Finally, consider your actual costs and increase them to determine the maximum you can deliver your project for. In reality, a robust ROI calculation may take some time, but it's an important part of establishing whether your project will get off the ground. Look at it this way. The ROI for completing an ROI calculation is less wasted time and more time spent delivering successful projects. That sounds like 100% common sense to me. To recap then, ROI calculations determine whether an idea or project is viable. They help compare different projects by producing a profitability percentage. They don't reflect intangible or indirect returns. And most importantly, its critical ROI forecasts are based on robust assumptions if they are to be accurate. So how can you use this in your world?